and welcome to Wageningen University in Research. I'm Julia, and today I'm joined by people from the new master's program of bio-based sciences, and I think it'd be nice to start off with a brief introduction. Hello, my name is uh, Fons Jansen. I'm currently finished with my bachelor's in biotechnology, and I've completed my uh, board year this year, and I really want to study next year in September uh, bio-based sciences. And I'm Sonja Isken. I'm program director for a number of biotechnological study programs here at Wageningen University and I helped to set up the new master program in bio-based sciences. So Sonia, would you mind giving us a brief description about the program? Uh, um, bio-based sciences studies the use of renewable resources as starting material for industrial processes. So in principle it's about replacement of fossil fuels by biomass. Uh, an example that I can give is that you can use sugar cane to produce sugar. That's something Wagner University has done for ages. It's a long tradition. Um, but besides making sugar, you also have leftovers, you have waste. Sugar cane bagger is it, waste is called. And you can use that to make other valuable compounds. For instance, lactic acid. And lactic acid can be polymerized to get polylactic acid, and that's bioplastic. So in principle, from the waste of the sugar production, you can make uh, a lot of make plastic and a lot of different products. And then you recycle those products if you can, of course. Mm -hmm. But finally, you have to make, uh, recover the energy and you make compost uh, from it and you get new biomass. And therefore you have the green circle from a circular economy. And uh, in the study bio-based science, a student will learn about this green circle and about the different disciplines involved. Nice. And then, so why are you interested in this program? I really like to study this program because uh, it's this interdisciplinarity. I've studied biotechnology and I'm very good in the technical parts, but mm -hmm. I really want to see the complete value chain and how it impacts society. So in that way, you should not only be in the lab, but also understand the logistics, the production, and also the selling of the product. So you mentioned a specialization and conversion. What are the different specializations that will be offered in this program? We will we'll offer three specializations, also based on the fact that you have different disciplines that are necessary. One specialization will be based on the primary production, biomass production, and we expect that students from maybe plant science or biology will mainly be interested in that specialization. The second specialization will be about getting out valuable compounds out of the biomass, that's biorefinery, but also transferring it to other chemicals, conversion, so that's a specialization by refinery and conversion. And then the third one is the one that goes more to the socio-economic aspects, the so logistics, the economy. So three different specializations for, I think, three different group of students with different uh, interests. Are there any overlaps between the specializations if a student's interested in more than one? Uh, of course, in Wageningen you can always take some courses from the other specialization, but we want to have an expert in one specialization who has some insights for the others. And when I uh, explain the study program and the courses, then you can uh, see this too. And how did you choose your specialization? Yeah, so my main focus, I really still want to focus completely on the technology because technology enables this transition. Um, so that's why I've chosen for the second specialization, conversion, but I also want to pick some other courses of the other specializations. And what courses are currently offered at Wageningen that will be part of this um, program? Now, of course, Wageningen uh, already has uh, for a long time studied programs in plant science and biotechnology and also in economics. And uh, they are uh, always offered a number of courses, but they were all really focusing on one aspect and not on the integration. So we start now at first, before the new master will start, as a tryout, as optional courses, with courses on circular economy, with courses on bio-based economy. We also made uh, a MOOC where students that have a background in one of the different aspects can learn about all the other aspects. So you can really pick up the things. It's, it's, it's quite a large MOOC and you take out only the elements from it it's, it's online, you can even, if, 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 if people are interested in, they could already uh, do it and, and have a look a bit out of it. We use it in our courses as a part of study material, but students already can have a look at it. Would you mind explaining what a MOOC stands for? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a massive open 
online courses so they are open you do not have to uh, pay for it if you don't uh, just want to have a look for it and you can see the study material that we use at this university of course we do more when you are once here but you can uh, already have a look at the study material whether it's interesting to you yeah. and uh, whether you want to go to that direction and uh, in september 2017 the first uh, MOOCs on the circular economy and also the principles of bio-based they will uh, they will be uh, offered and People can join it. Yeah. Nice. So if a student was going to take one of these MOOCs now, could it be applied later to a master's if they decided to follow the bio-based uh, services? If you, we have a number of MOOCs, it's not only one, it's a number, you can also follow them separately. If you do all of them and you also include an exam at the end, then we will count them as credits. So, so that yeah. would be shorten your, your master even. But if you don't do it or just have a look of it, then of course it also helps you once you are here. And then I know students have to do a thesis and an internship in this program, just like all the other programs, but what makes the setup of the thesis different for this new bio-based master's program? Yeah, so there is also in the thesis a, a difference between an other master science <coughs> specialization. So with the bio-based sciences, you do your thesis with two chair groups. And in that way, you also have a specialization in one, but because you want to have an integrative uh, approach, you also pick part of your thesis to um, look about the different aspects. So for instance, if you make a new technology to convert um, the sugar bagasse, for instance, in a new kind of chemical, then maybe you can also look into the chair group that looks into the life cycle assessment. So how sustainable is it? From these courses, which one is most exciting for you? Yeah, I really want to, um, to take the course biorefinery because then you learn more about the microorganisms that makes it possible um, to form all the chemicals that you want uh, and that's also needed because with the new ways of genetics and uh, modification you can make the new chemicals that are needed for the transition towards a bio-based economy. And are there any specific admissions requirements for students looking to join this program? Uh, yeah, of course Wageningen University has a lot of general admissions. Uh, we, like other programs, have mainly direct admission Students who would like to prepare can also come to Wageningen. We have a minor in bio-based technology for bachelor students at the end of the bachelor. It is not compulsory to do it, but that could be a preparation. But if you want to enroll, because we have this broad approach, you can also enroll with a number of relevant bachelor programs. As long as it is relevant for one of the specializations, you will be allowed to enroll this program. So it goes from plant science and biology to a chemical engineering, chemistry, all the way to the economists. And uh, those students will be able to enroll. Okay. And of course, they will go to a certain specialization okay. that fits nicely with their bachelor and with their background. And how would you say the job market looks for this new master's program? Now, what we did is we made an extensive market analysis, uh, wrote a, a long report, asked for it about uh, which companies really have a demand uh, for these graduates. And actually, the result of that analysis was the reason that we started to set up this program. Because uh, especially companies that nowadays are still basic in the petrochemical industry had interest in people that are able to use biomass instead of the crude oil. And on the other hand, also in a Agro sciences, uh, people saw some chances uh, to go towards this direction. So we expect good um, market uh, opportunities for our graduates, and uh, there are also some companies from petrochemical companies that support us to uh, set up this program. So, would you say that there is added value for students coming out of this master's program versus other master's programs? Uh, yeah, I think that the the broad view also on the other aspects, not only on your specialization, but also the other ones. That is the added value uh, towards the expert that we deliver already right now. Yeah. And Fans, you studied here at Wageningen. How is it being a student? Oh, I really like studying here at Wageningen. Uh, I did my bachelor's here for three years and I really loved it because I was involved with sports. Uh, for, I really like to do rowing uh, at the Wageningen Student uh, Rowing Association, Argo. And I also really like to be involved my, with my study association at Godel. Nice. What are some things that you would do with your study association? So, for instance, we visit conferences. So really to get the cutting edge knowledge, how industry and policymakers are involved in a bio-based economy, for instance. But we also like to invite alumni uh, to Wageningen again to talk about their experiences. Uh, but we also go out uh, during the night because Wageningen is also a very small town. But because there are so many students, there's a very nice ambience in the cafes. Fantastic. So it really seems like there's a lot of opportunities 
outside the classroom as well as inside the classroom. Yeah, that's true. Like you really have got your education during the day and in the, in the evenings you're free to do whatever you want. Well, thank you guys so much for your answers. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Well, I hope you learned a lot of interesting information, but if you still have questions, please feel free to email us at students at word.nl or schedule a Skype meeting. And if you have any general questions about admissions or student life or anything at all, please check out the video, The Essentials of Studying at Wageningen University. Thanks and hope to see you soon.